Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is calculate the tensions S1 and S2 in the two strings AB and AC that support the lamp of weight Q equal to 178 Newton by using method of projections. In this problem given is a lamp of weight Q equal to 178 Newton is suspended as shown in figure and this string AB is horizontal and this string AC is arranged like this and slope is given this height is 0.2 meter and horizontal distance is 0.9 meter. So in this problem we need to find tensions in this side of the string uh, S1 and tension in this side of the string S2. So let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First let us see forces and reactions. The weight Q is acting vertically downwards and this side of the string experiences a tension and it is horizontal towards this direction and this side of the string experiences a tension S2. The direction is shown here. Now let us find the angle, angle made by this string AC with the horizontal. So here the slope is given on the vertical 0.2 meter on the horizontal 0.9 meter. Now let us draw a right angle triangle. Uh, this side is 0.2 meter and this side is 0.9 meter. Let us call this angle is alpha. So tan alpha is 0.2 by 0.9. So alpha is equal to 12.53 degrees. So this string AC will make an angle of 12.53 degrees with the horizontal. Let us transfer all these forces and reactions onto XY plane. So on this XY plane we have Q acting vertically downwards. S1 is acting towards this direction horizontally and S2 is acting towards this direction. Angle between S2 and horizontal is alpha. Alpha we have just calculated in the previous slide. Now let us resolve forces along vertical. So along vertical we have sigma f y equal to 0. So along vertical we have q acting vertically downwards. So q equal to the vertical component of S2 is S2 sin alpha. So q equal to S2 sin alpha. So alpha we have calculated that is 12.53. So after substituting uh, the value of alpha and q after simplification we get S2 equal to 820.5 Newton. Similarly let us resolve forces along x direction. So along x direction we have S1 is acting towards this direction and horizontal component of S2 is S2 cos alpha. So vertical this q won't have any horizontal component because it is vertically uh, downwards. That is written here. So S1 equal to S2 cos alpha. So S2 we have calculated here and after substituting S2 and alpha value and simplification we get S1 equal to 801.801 Newton. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.